Yeah, is this on? There we go. It takes more than one person to get things up here when you're in my class. <coughs> so, <clears throat> the title of my message this morning is called That Silent Night. And uh, I just want to ask you this morning have you ever thought about that silent night? How wonderful and serene it had to have been. Just Mary and Joseph and their new baby and so nice and quiet and cozy. <clears throat> and you ever thought about that silent night? Well, before we get into this, I want to pray. Father, we just thank you. That we can look at your word, we can study your word, and we thank you that we do have your living word today. <clears throat> it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now I want to read Luke 2, 1 through 7. In those days a decree went out from Caesar Augustus to all the world that it should be reg registered. This was the first registration when Quinarius was governor of Syria. And all went to be registered, each to his own town. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Naz Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Beth Bethlehem because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. She gave birth to her firstborn son, wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. Now I want to read one more passage, verses 15 and 16. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. Now, I want to know where it says in here it was a silent night. Did you see that anywhere? A holy night? Yeah. Silent? Oh, we're going to take a look at that. I want to point out something I just read to you. It says, because there is no place for them in the inn. Why? Because it all gone to be registered. So the little town of Bethlehem, it wasn't very big. It was packed to overflowing maximum capacity. It had already passed a long time ago. Okay? So... I want you to picture with me, if you will, this little town, way past maximum capacity. The streets are so full, you have trouble even walking down the street, kind of like the mall around Christmas time or, you know, Walmart, Black <coughs> Friday or, you know, whatever it might be. And it's loud. And there's way too many people talking way too loud and way too many people not listening. And the laughter is loud, loud, loud. And everything's loud. The kids are crying. People are getting upset because they can't even find a place to sleep for their donkey, let alone themselves. It's not silent. It is not serene. It is not cozy. Here's Joseph. Mary. Mary, I'm going to put you on the donkey. You'll be safer up there, Mary. Everyone will move out of the way for this don this, do this, this, this donkey. And, and, and they won't be bumping into you and knocking you down. Now, now, Mary, hang on tight, Mary. Mary, hang on tight. Don't let anybody steal our stuff off the donkey. Don't let them knock you off the donkey and steal him. Hey, Mary, just... Hang on tight, Mary. I'll leave the donkey and I'll try to make a way for us through this crowd. And, and it'll, it'll, it'll clear, Mary. It's going to be okay. Are you okay, Mary? Are you okay, Mary? And you just hear her through a cry saying, Hurry, Joseph. I think it's getting close. Mary, Mary, it's okay. Mary, I am, I am hurrying. I'm doing all I can. Hey, hey, mister. You know we can find a place to, a place to sleep? What? I says, oh, okay, thanks. Well, hey, hey, mister, hey, you. You know where we can find a place to sleep? What? No, I know I should have been here days ago, but I just couldn't. Hey, hey, you. You know where we can find a place? Hey, but with the animals. Well, 
Mary, look at her face. He finally says, it's better than being outside. Thank you. Now I want to describe what we call the manger, okay? The way most homes were built in that day, you had the living quarters, and then you had below that the quarters for the animals and your other stuff that you would use in making your living. So it is below this house that Joseph takes Mary, where the animals are supposed to be, and then move them out so they have some, some, some straw, have a little bit of privacy as she gives birth. And all around them, all in the streets, all in the city, you hear all this racket and all this noise. And these people are all talking so loud, nobody listening. And Can you just hear all this noise around you? Think about it. A silent night? Man. Man. It's anything but silent. I want to play a song for you by Randy Travis called Labor of Love.
giving birth to our Savior. And Joseph, being a nobleman, was going to put her away quietly until the angel visited him in a dream. They knew this was God's Son. They knew. We can get so caught up in things. Now, our own Christmas season took a different turn this year. As most of you know, we had to rebuild our kitchen because of a water leak, and we get that finished right before Thanksgiving, and we're like, we put Thanksgiving decorations up for a week or put Christmas. So we decided, thank you, Lord, we put Christmas up. So we get that done, and then Thanksgiving's over, get our tree up, one thing we didn't have done, and then, and then, you know, Everything's going good. We have our December plans all made. Man, we're already decorated. The baby's going to be shopping and cooking and we're going to be re ready for uh, family and there's no cooking done yet. <laughs> Friday, December 8th, Jim and I were up here stringing new lights in that tree because it was burning. <coughs> and my ladder threw me. It was the ladder's fault. And down I went, and I told Jim and others I thank God he was here, because I'd have been doing this by myself had he not been here. And he called 911, he called my wife, and I thank God for that. But our December has not been as we had planned. How often times do things in our life not go as planned? And we look back later on. In our minds, we plan things out. In reality, sometimes they take a fall. And it's difficult, especially this time of year. We have loved ones that are supposed to be here, they're not. We have things we're supposed to do, we don't get to. And our silent night is anything but silent. We have loved ones who are not in good health, but they're supposed to be in good health. And our silent night sometimes begins to scream at us. I think we get so caught up in what's going on around us that we tend to forget that God used two young, scared people to bring a Savior into this world. Use them to fulfill prophecy. God took them and God saw them through just as He does us. Jesus, God's Son, came to earth in human flesh. This wasn't some Greek mythology. This is just real stone-cold facts. You can read historians of the time who had nothing to do with God, and they will still record these things. God sent Jewish shepherds to witness that he was indeed human. God sent wise men from the east to verify that he really was born a king, the king of kings and the Lord of lords. 
Think about the best gift you're going to give this year. Now think about the gift that God gave us. His only begotten Son. Think about this. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round yon virgin, mother and child, holy Tender and mild. Sleep in heavenly peace. Sleep in heavenly peace. When I sing this song, I think about Mary, young Mary, holding her baby. God's holy son, wrapped up in human flesh. I can just hear the animals moving and breathing, making their little sounds and the hustle and bustle out in the street, but Mary holding Jesus, her baby, all bundled up, snug and warm, and there's Jesus, God's Son, who was there when the earth was created, asleep in her arms. Silent night. By this time, in Mary's heart, it was. <clears throat> Let's pray. Father, I thank you for your son. I thank you that you use humans to bring this holy thing into the world. I thank you. I thank you that that we can come and worship him and praise him and I thank you Lord as we sing a song called Silent Night as we sing these things, as we sing these Christmas songs we know Lord that you hear us that you see us Thank you. In Jesus' name. Let's all stand.